I'm hosting. And um, the reason for that is that I dropped my camera and my lens broke and I haven't had a chance to fix it yet. So I haven't been recording video because I don't really want to be recording on my phone, although I am recording on my phone right now. Currently, the boys are, well, I'm in my little tiny hallway with the boys to give them a little bit of free room because they have been in interest for about three weeks now. I'm gonna explain all of that because it's been a process. So, Mr. Akatosh, wherever the gentle, wherever the naughty boy is, this is Akatosh. Um, has been exhibiting some behaviours that haven't been uh, desirable. Um, mainly, he likes to throw his weight around and try to um, let everyone know that he's boss. Hi, Cade. Let everyone know that he's boss. However, most of the rats in the group can deal with it. However, Pullman, who is one of the lower ranking rats in the group, is a very nervous boy and so doesn't take this very well and so it gets very stressful for him and he screams and tries to run away and instead of submitting and just letting Akatosh pin him makes the fight continue and Akatosh then gets more angry and puffy and stressed out and in, in you know builds the situation into our situation and so three weeks ago on Monday Akatosh had only been doing this behaviour in free room which is kind of normal to be extraterritorial outside of the cage um, when there's a, you know, when there's more space. Hi Pullman. This is Pullman. He's a nervous boy. But you're a good boy, aren't you? Um, it's very normal for, you know, it to happen in a bigger space, which is why sometimes they suggest that boys have a slightly smaller cage, so there's less, um, oh, there's less to fight over. So, he started exhibiting these behaviours inside of the cage when he'd only been doing them outside of the cage um, and cornering Pullman into um, like their burrow and Sputniks. So I decided then that something needed to be done about it at that moment because it was way too... Something had to be done otherwise Pullman would be getting more scared and more scared, basically getting bullied. So what I decided to do was to try them in reintros. So I got all six of them and I put them into the Pets at Home large hamster cage. Um, and this kicked off a fight straight away. Akatosh went in there and was like, whoa, raging. And so I then put him in separate um, by himself and I gave the other boys some time in the cage. And then after speaking to Akatosh's breeder and some other people in, that I trust in the rat community, I decided to give reintros a try that evening. And I have some footage from that, so I'm going to show you that. During this showtime, um, no one's happy. Akatosh and Pullman are... Akatosh is here, he's slightly puffy. And I don't know whether you can see, but Pullman is on his hind legs and he is... Oh, sorry guys. He is... Bearing his teeth, that means that he is not happy whatsoever. He's getting him down. Akatosh. That is completely unnecessary. So, an update, we have moved them from the show tank that's just here to this smaller hamster cage that is, um not too much bigger than the show tank but just more comfortable for them overnight easier water access and all that sort of stuff because six of them in a show tank they were very hot when i was moving them out they seem to be doing okay so um fingers crossed so i came back um from being at home for one night the boys have been in this size cage for probably about two days i'd say um, so today we decided I would give them a little hammock and some toys. They're actually out of my Rat's Tail subscription box, the natural one. The toys are very nice quality, really cute, um, fit the natural theme well. And the boys are drawing them in there because they have been a bit bored, I'd say, over the past few days. Look at Coram. 
Oh my, that's so cute. And that worked, that process worked. Um, and this is where the trouble started because on the Saturday, which was Saturday the 23rd of November, no, it wasn't, it was Saturday. Anyway, it was, it was a Saturday and it, oh, 13th, um, it was the Mayhill show and we went to the show. However, that meant that I left Pullman and Piri at home because they said no shoulder rats and these rats aren't showable um, because of their temperament at the moment. And I, um, I then had the other four boys, obviously they were in show tanks all day. And so when they got home, everything seemed fine. I put everyone back into the hamster cage and it seemed fine. And then I tried to move up a stage the next day, which was the problem. They went into the next stage and I have footage of them being really well behaved, but then it kicked off after about 10 minutes. Akatosh was angry. Um, and at that point I spoke to um, people that I trust. They advised me to start back from the beginning and go extra slowly. And that's what I did. Um, so they were in re for two weeks. They spent the majority of the first week in stage two in the hamster cage and the majority of the second week in a stage three um, guinea pig cage. And then I just put them back into their cage, just removing any um, enclosed spaces because those enclosed spaces can really cause um, the fights. And they've been fine. They've been in there now, I think three or four times. This is their first proper free roam. I've let them um, go on the Christmas tree a little bit yesterday because I believe that under supervision, it's a very good exercise for them. And so today they're in this little hallway with me while I film this video. Um, and they've got some pea fishing to keep them a little bit entertained so that nothing kicks off. And we may try and give them a little bit of free room after this, depending on how um, good or bad their behavior is. But that's the situation, that's an update on what's been going on here. And another reason why I haven't really been making videos is because they've been in intro cages for three weeks, which was really sad because I didn't really have many photos of them. I couldn't really interact with them that much. Um, so the past few days of them being in their main cage has been really, really great. And this is the longest I've done intros. So when I got um, Corbin Akatosh and their brother that passed away, they were in intros maybe a week. And when um, Pullman and Periite came, they were in intros probably around a week too. However, it was a bit longer than the first time because it was adult to adult and not um, kitten to adult. Um, and this is on my toe. Another update is that whilst they were in intros, they have all been losing weight, which is what I wanted. And um, particularly Cora, he is a chunk of the group. He is a big boy, but everybody is also um, losing weight, which I was worried that without exercise and free room, they would um, gain weight, especially this boy, but they haven't. So that means that the diet is going well, so that's good. I will be making a full video about my whole experience with sort of trying to have them lose weight, but that's sort of um, just like a little update video, um, just to let you know how everything's been going on because I really um, have been, you know, busy <laughs> um, with my boys. Video footage of the boys now because they're very cute. Well, we have got a mess here. We've got all the pea skins everywhere. Another update is that I organised this cupboard in our kitchen to be a rat cupboard, which is very exciting because beforehand we just had like rat stuff 
taking over the living room and I did not enjoy that. So I'm gonna show you the cupboard now. So it doesn't look very pretty because the cupboard is quite an ugly cupboard. However, it's very practical. So I've got my storage bins here, the Hoover, that's our Christmas tree box, um, hamster cage, show tanks, toys, other small hamster cage, guinea pig cage, hay. Um, so all of the rat stuff is pretty much in here or in the storage tables already in the living room. But my problem was like the piles of stuff in the living room. So I'm really excited about this. The cupboard was full of junk and what I did was I took it down to the shed and I put it in the shed and I'm really enjoying it because that cupboard was just full of crap, like just constant, it was just bad and the living room was full of stuff but I'm going to show you the living room now. So you can see it's kind of messy because all of this is on the floor, they like to kick bedding out, I haven't hoovered up yet today. but. These two tables have like rat storage stuff in them, which is fine because it's inside the table. But beforehand, we had like piles and piles of stuff and it just got a lot. Um, so that is what that side of the room looks like now. And I'm much happier about it. Um, and we also have our Christmas tree. Um, but yeah, 